1993 Callaway Super Natural 400 out of the garage today. So when we come to the front of this car, we notice that these have Bridgestone run flats on it. For 1993, that is a very, very new option back in the day. And it was one of the first ever run flats ever to be put on a vehicle. These are the original tires from 1993. So when we come to the back of this 1993 Callaway, you can notice just based off these taillights, this is not a regular C4 Corvette. Callaway completely changed the rear end of this car. Regular C4 will not have any of this. And you can also see there's a built-in almost ducktail concave on the back of it. You will never see that on a regular C4. You can just tell this is something special just by looking at it. So we come to the side of the car, you can tell this is not stock and this whole piece is not stock at all. This is not a regular C4 body style. Callaway wanted to switch it up with some new pieces and you can tell this whole bottom completely different. I thought another thing to include in this video would to be the information sheet. So if you'd like to pause the video and read all that, you can. One thing I will say is that the original owner spelled arrow wrong. But if you like to read all that, it's amazing. There's crazy signatures on this car and just such a great history to this car. Bridgestone was very, very involved in the making of these wheels and tires. And Callaway was actually owned. This is a Callaway owned vehicle. It used to be owned by the cousin of it is Mark Calloway's car, but it's Reeves' cousin. But now we own it um, in Illinois. Definitely not a Washington car. Let me just get a whole entire view. This car is something special, man, I tell you. While we're at the front of this car, you're going to notice a huge difference. This is probably the most iconic part of a Calloway Corvette is the front end. So this is um, on the stock C4, there will normally be the C4 Corvette badge on the hood. This was a plugged in by Callaway so they wouldn't have to paint the hood because they wanted to put their emblem on the front bumper. So you come to the front bumper, you see Callaway Corvette built in perfectly, just shaped around, it's perfect. These are different marker lights. These bottom lights are not stock at all. This is completely custom by Callaway. And you can come up and just see completely front different front end like, look not anything normal callaway really just did an amazing job on this vehicle here it's just crazy to see one of these in real life and if you're not familiar with the fourth generation corvette you're going to assume this is a coupe but it's actually not this car is actually a convertible with a specially ordered hard top on it these hard tops man they they go for way too much on the internet so it actually is, appears to be a coupe, but that is a hard top that removes, sort of like kind of on a Miata, they can remove their hard tops. Come around, you see it. There's actually a soft top under this. Look at that. That's just crazy to see right there. And you see all the badging is different. Show you another walk around at the top and then another view of the whole entire Callaway 1993. Just such an amazing vehicle. Here's a view into the interior. This is obviously an um, early 90s car, so it has a completely different interior than the fourth generation Corvettes of the earlier style body. They have a completely different interior. Um, I could say that Callaway didn't do much of a huge difference on the interior from stock, but you can see this is just a pristine interior. 40th anniversary badging, stitched right into the headrest, which is amazing. This is our first manual Corvette we have at the house. Luckily, my dad knows how to drive it. And the Callaway mats, we actually had Callaway floor mats here, but they're actually removed right now for cleaning. So we did get those. And you just see these seats are wonderful. Look at all the options to those seating, man. You're gonna be comfortable as hell in this thing. And then only other thing you see is, that is a metal stamp. Callaway Supernatural. Callaway cars, Old Lime, Connecticut. I think I pronounced that wrong. I, old Lime, Old Limey, I don't know. But, and all in all, this is an amazing car. 
I don't think I'm gonna pop the hood for now, but it is the Callaway 400. Another thing I would like to bring the attention to is the center exhaust. I guarantee you've never seen the C4 Corvette with center exhaust. This is actually a very rare option, and you will not see many Callaways with it. This center exhaust is crazy. It sounds so amazing. It sounds like a damn Ferrari, and you just see it. You just see that shit. You're, <laughs> you know, like this is a pretty something special. Let me show you the back end one more time. Look at that. It's just Callaway, not Corvette. This is completely all made by Reeves Callaway. Something special here, I'll tell you that. Yeah.